Hey, my name's Grant, and today I wanna to talk to you about how to be a successful franchise or franchisee. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the location, why that matters, the people, the product, the marketing, the checks and balances that you have to have. Today's video is gonna be jam-packed with so much useful information. Let's go. The first thing that you need to make sure you have is a solid concept. You wanna make sure that the, the product that you're gonna be having is gonna be tasty or a great service or uh, meets a great need that's gonna to appeal to the masses. The next thing that you need to have is a great franchise partner. You wanna make sure they're not just in it for their percent. They wanna actually help you. They wanna show you how to grow. They wanna make sure that, that the process is as fail-proof as possible. Because truth be told, business is war and it's so tough to survive all those statistics that within five years, 50% of all businesses are gonna be gone. After that, it starts to really start to fall off because that person's tired of not making that profit or it just really starts to turn or they've outdated their concept and they gotta start spending more money that they don't have that they haven't made because of poor products, poor management, and just overall poor location or execution. Next on the list of importance, location. Location, location, location. We've heard that so many times in, in our lives, but it's so true. Put it where, even if it's a little bit more expensive, put it where the people go. Put it where the people are. Put it where they're visiting. Put where the traffic count's gonna be. Make sure that you are where someone will see your product, take that photo, post it, and their friends will come as well. Word of mouth is always the absolute best when it comes to advertising, but you wanna make sure that you're putting yourself in a place that they're spending that money on that particular product there's a great population, so that way you can actually get the amount of customers you need every single day, and their income is good enough to where they have that disposable income to go and spend it with you. Next, and honestly, I think this is actually more important than all of it, but I have to list it in the way it goes, people. You have to make sure that you train, retrain, and replace anybody that won't get on with your message. Remember, you can have a customer that has had great experiences with you in your business, but one bad encounter with a teammate or someone that's just not really feeling the process anymore or very negative or you know, starts talking about their pay and wishing that you'd pay more because they don't understand that that business just can't, right? And you also, you gotta pay them very fair wages. I start my people out at nine and their team leads are at 11. My general managers make 55. So truth be told, I'm doing my absolute best. We try to hire high school and college kids. And then if we have someone that's gonna come on and do juicing or something, be an adult, we'll pay them $15 an hour. And that's just as much as my business can handle. So. All this being said, your people make the difference. So that way, when you're training them, you want to show them how to, how to do what you do. You want to incentivize them to do what you do. And here at our store, not only do I incentivize them with bonuses and things like that, but there's also tips. So by giving that customer a good service, I tell them all the time, this is increasing your tips. And the beautiful part, we make enough tips here at the store that goes straight back to my staff. And I tip them all the time when I come in to where they're making it out two to three dollars more an hour by getting those tips. So it's a very good thing when they think about it the right way. And it allows them to give us that much more effort to get that much more experience for our customers. Next up on the list, marketing. You have to make sure that you're going out and door knocking and letting people know and handing out flyers. Where's my flyers? Hold on. So for example, this is our main squeeze coupon, right? We actually have a menu and the apps on the back. There's a ton of great things by having that good franchise partner and we actually give this coupon out to everybody that comes in the door. And then I ran a great promotion that everyone that came in the door today, yesterday, and the day before got a free t-shirt. I ended up getting a little lesser quality t-shirt, but it allowed me to buy 700, it cost me $5,000, but people were bolting in the door and coming back the next day just to get the new color. We also made it a little fun where we had a different color each day or different colors each day where people really had a great time. But that is how you get them in the door. That's costing you a lot of money. You know what doesn't cost you a lot of money? What we call grassroots marketing. Where you go, like I said earlier, door knock. Talk to all the businesses around. Let them know what your concept is and that you'd love to partner with them and give their employees a discount or bring over some juices to make sure they can try your product or service or whatever you have. And marketing doesn't end once you open those doors for business. You have to keep on it every single day. You have to keep chipping away and you have to keep doing that so that way you keep that pipeline full of people hearing about your concept years and years to come. They need to be going, wait, what is Main Squeeze? Uh, what, what is uh, Project Fit? Oh, what is this other place? What is this lawn care? I need to go check it out. I need to send my friends to it and I need to experience what everyone's talking about. 
Another one that people forget about all the time is cleanliness of your business. You want to make sure when people come in, they're not like, oh my gosh, what is that? And here at Main Squeeze, we fight one major thing all the time with the juices and stuff. Your feet can get a little sticky. So we want to make sure that this place comes in and nobody's walking everywhere they go. We want to make sure that they have a clean, beautiful restaurant every time they come in. And another way that we do this besides night cleanings and all the other things that our team members do. We also get one deep clean every month. So that way when it comes in, my managers get to smell that, that scent of pine salt, baby. But what ends up happening is they get to start fresh. And that way when it gets a little dirty, we have 30 days. And if it ever got too bad, I'd spend the money to do it every, every week if I had to. But luckily my team members uh, do what they need to do. They do great jobs cleaning and we incentivize them as well. We have some unsung hero awards as well. So that way if that team member is not big in the front and they actually just one person that's just making it happen in the back, we make sure they always get recognized. The second to last thing that we're gonna talk about is management. You wanna make sure that if you're the person that's actually running that store, you're the owner and operator, or if you have a general manager because you're like me, have other things to do besides working your concept, that they are upholding your standards, they are making sure that they have your best interest possible, they understand what payroll and all expenses can be, and they keep enforcing those policies, that quality, and that cleanliness to make sure your customers keep coming back time and time again. And to wrap it all up, the very last thing we have to talk about, repeat. You gotta do everything I just showed you over and over again. Your staff members are gonna go on and do other things if you have a concept like mine. Uh, in the event you pay them a, a million dollars a year, they still might find something bigger and better. So understand, you're always gonna have to be training, retraining, replacing, and you gotta inspect what you want out of your company. You need to be visiting your concepts once, twice, three times a month if you're an absentee owner like I am. I come down to Houston, I visit my stores, I talk to my staff, I make me a smoothie, I make sure I help them with the juice cooler, and I get on with my day. So, and when a grand opening happens, all hands on deck, Brett's with me, we're filming at night, and we just try to make sure we show as much passion and give as much to the company as we possibly can with the time that we have. And also we make sure we have calls with our management staff to make sure that they know what's going on, they know if we need to fix an issue, and you just gotta keep that constant communication and inspect what you expect, and then you'll have a very successful franchise, business, or be a franchisee. So, hope this video was great for you, hope you have a fantastic afternoon, and I will see you on the next one.